If someone walks down the apples and pears, asks if you've been telling porky pies, which could mean you're in a lot of Barney rubble. Then again, if you use your loaf of bread, you probably won't fall on your bottle and glass. <sighs> I could really do with a cup of Rosie Lee right now. Welcome back to Love English. This is Cockney Rhyming Slang with my gran. Have you ever wondered what Cockney rhyming slang is all about? Well, I am going to explain it for you and with the help of my grandmother, we're going to teach you 20 Cockney rhyming slang phrases. Why have I chosen my grandmother to help us with this lesson? Well, in fact, my grandmother is from London. Now, she is not, in the truest of senses, a Cockney. A Cockney, a true Cockney, is born within the sound of bow bells the Church of St. Mary Le Beau. Now this church is in the center of London and 150 years ago, if you were born within the sound of those bells ringing, then that qualified you to be a true Cockney. Now, despite not being a true Cockney in the sense of the word, my grandmother is a Londoner and therefore she grew up using Cockney rhyming slang. As I was born in the south of England, it was less common for me to hear or in fact use Cockney rhyming slang unless it was used by my family, who on my mother's side all originate from London. There were even times growing up that I might not understand exactly what my grandmother was talking about when she started to use Cockney rhyming slang. So in a moment she's going to help me explain 20 common Cockney rhyming slang expressions. But first, let me explain the origins of Cockney rhyming slang. Now, the origins of Cockney rhyming slang? A little bit uncertain. No one knows for sure exactly how it originated, but it is thought to have been the language of criminals. It was a code invented by criminals in order to evade the police to make sure they didn't know what they were talking about. It was used throughout London as a form of code, often by maybe criminals, but also by market store workers. And of course, nowadays, it's actually quite widespread, thanks to films like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. A few nights ago, Rory's Roger Ryan rusted. So he's gone down the battle cruiser to watch the end of a football game. No one's watching the custard, so he switches the channel over. So it is a widespread form of slang, British slang. Americans will have no clue what you're talking about, but the Brits might. Certainly, Londoners will know exactly what you were referring to when you ask for a cup of Rosie Lee. Now, as I mentioned, Cockney rhyming slang was, of course, created by Cockney Londoners, a Cockney born within the sound of bow bells, the bells in the church tower of St. Mary Le Beau. Nowadays, however, with increased traffic and a lot of buildings around London, that area has shrunk significantly. So 150 years ago, the bells could be heard much further away than what they are today, as far as Hackney Marshes and as close as Camden. But never mind, these days you don't have to be a true Cockney to use Cockney rhyming slang. In fact, you don't even have to be a Londoner. As long as you understand the basic rules of Cockney rhyming slang, even if it's a new phrase that you haven't heard before, you might be able to work out exactly what someone means. So how does it work? What's the formula? Well, essentially, Cockney rhyming slang is created by taking two words. The last word should rhyme with the word you're trying to hide. So, a very common Cockney rhyming slang phrase, apples and pears. He walked down the apples and pears. Now, in this case, pears rhymes with stairs, and that's the meaning. He walked down the stairs, the apples and pears. The problem is, the last word is often omitted, it's removed, and therefore, unless you know the whole phrase, you will have no idea what that person is referring to. So instead of saying, I walk down the apples and pears, they might just say, the apples. Now, unless you know that it is apples and pears, you will not be able to rhyme it with stairs. In the same way, Rosie Lee is referring to tea. So if someone asks you, would you like a cup of Rosie, you would have no idea, unless you know the full phrase, what that is referring to. If someone says, do you want a cup of Rosie Lee, you might be able to guess from the context, a cup, and Lee, the fact that it rhymes with tea, what they are asking you for. 
Now, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you some of the more common Cockney rhyming slang phrases. I'm not going to go too much into modern Cockney rhyming slang because, in fact, as English is an evolving language, so too is slang, and Cockney rhyming slang is still something that's being created and evolving. So, if you do give this lesson a thumbs up and comment below, I'll know that you want another lesson on Cockney rhyming slang, modern. Cockney rhyming slang. But for now, we've got my grandmother to help you learn 20 common phrases. So you will notice that I often refer to my grandmother as Nan. Now, in English, you could say grandmother or gran, but that actually has kind of old connotations. My grandmother is only about 49 years older than me, so when I was born, she was pretty young. But I've always called her Nan. When I was growing up, Nanny. Now that I'm a bit older, I call her Nan. So that's why you'll hear me calling her Nan and not Gran. Now I love my Nan, as I'm sure you all do. So if you like this lesson and you like my grandmother, give it a thumbs up. I would love for this lesson to do well and go viral. I know that her great grandchildren, Jack, George, Thomas, and Will, and baby Alara, would love to see this video do well and see their great grandmother go viral on YouTube. It would just be such a fun thing to see. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. My grandmother Sheila teaching you twenty Cockney rhyming slang phrases. You look lovely. Okay, everyone. This is my grandmother Sheila, and you, where are you from, Nan? London. What part of London were you born? Um, you Hayes. In Hayes. Yes, you I, were was Hayes. Born, I was born in Hayes. Okay, yeah. so you're a Londoner, but you're not actually a Cockney, technically. No, are no, you? no, dear. So anyway, although my Nan is not a Cockney, she is a Londoner, and you have used. Uh, Cockney rhyming slang. Sometimes you've said things, and I've been rather confused. But today we're going to test her Cockney rhyming slang. You think you don't remember it all, do you? We're going to yeah. test you. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to give you twenty Cockney Cockney rhyming slang phrases, and see if you can guess what they might mean. So number one, if I say I'm on the dog and bone, what am I doing? You're on the phone. Very good. Number two, if someone says to you, "Use your mince pies." Use your eyes. Perfect. Now, number three, you can also shorten down to have a butcher's, but traditionally we say butcher's hook. Have a but have a look. Brilliant. Number four was one that I didn't really understand, and you used it, and I was confused what you were saying. You said she was in a right two and eight. She was well. You'd say flustered or flustered. Yeah. So two and eight means state. Yeah, in the okay, right so state. She's in the right state. Two and eight. Right, number five. If someone is a tea leaf, what are they? A thief. If you tell a child that they shouldn't tell porky pies, telling tales. Telling tales, telling lies. Lies. It or rhymes tales, with yeah. lies. Yeah. If you are talking about your storm and strife, your other half. You are, uh, specifically, storm, talk, storm and strife means wife. Wife. Because it doesn't rhyme with husband; it rhymes with wife. wife. If you tell someone to use their loaf of bread, use their head. Perfect. If you fall on your bottle and glass, you're on your ass. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Now, if you have big plates of meat, what do you have? Big feet. <laughs> See, you know them all. You're perfect now. <laughs> I watch EastEnders. There we go. EastEnders. If you want to learn more Cockney rhyming yeah, slang, because he does in the pub. <laughs> So this one is about weather. So if we say it's a bit more can windy, windy. Yeah, that's a newer one though. I think yeah. that's Cockney rhyming slang. Like all slang, can evolve and change. There's some that are more traditional. This is a little bit of a newer one, more can windy, windy. Yeah. If you say I don't Adam and Eve it, I don't believe it. There we go. If someone is in Barney rubble, they're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> See, you're getting good at this now. That's good. It's not that bad. <laughs> How much do you pay an hour?、Uh, we'll see if you go viral. If you click like and she goes viral, I might pay her. No, dear. Right. If someone is brown bread, they're brown bread. They're going to be dead. Okay. If you say you've got some really one. If you say you've got a good china plate, doesn't actually mean china plate. It means a good mate. Perfect. I haven't heard a dicky bird. I haven't heard a. As, uh, you haven't heard from someone. Yeah. So Dicky Bird rhymes with word. So you、yeah. haven't heard anyone no, say anything.、No. Haven't heard. A, haven't heard a Dicky Bird from Any, my friend. Yeah. Anyone. 
If you Hank Marvin, you didn't know this one earlier, do you remember it now? Hank Marvin? Call him Hank Marvin. Hungry. Hungry or starving? Starving. There we go. Uh, this is uh, very traditional. So if you want a cup of rosy Lee. Cup of tea. Perfect. Uh, if you've got something in your sky rocket. In your pocket. Yes. We're good. We're good. And my favourite one. I think this is one of my favourites. Uh, would you like a Vera Lynn? A gin. So you knew that one better than yes. the other. There we go. So those were 20 Cockney rhyming slang phrases. Did you manage to guess any of them? Nan, you did very well. Thank you, dear. You did very well. Yes, okay. <laughs> so Nan, my Nan has no idea what YouTube is, but I would really like her to go viral. So do click like on this lesson, share with your friends, and also in the comments section below, try and use some of these phrases. Hopefully, you'll be able to understand some of those uh, London East End movies with lots of Cockney rhyming slang now. So thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Bye. Oh, that's lovely, Lena. You're all good. <laughs> there we go. What did you say to me? It wasn't that bad. It was fine. Right. <laughs> you... Okay, tell what, what was I like as a child? Was I a nice child? Oh, was yes. I nice? Like, how would you describe me as a little girl? Well, it was me. You were lovely. Yeah? Yeah. We used to do lots of nice things. We did, yeah. Shop at all. We should just go and meet you in Ball and Nothing. Yeah. Make cakes. Yeah, we do. Make lots, lots of lots cakes. Of things love together. Yes. I've only ever had one proper nan. So on my dad's side, I didn't have a proper nan. I've had you and me had great nanny. Yes. I've been, was lovely. I was lucky to have one proper nan. Yeah. And there we go. So you're going to be on YouTube now. She's got no idea what it means. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Like the carers come in to me and say, oh, I've seen you on YouTube. <laughs> we'll share it with them. It'll be yeah. funny. You'll go viral, I promise. <laughs> All right.